Well, if I do have a ball, you're right here. I know that that probably feels good to hear, but I read something where Tom Brady gave you a tip in the offseason about identifying weaknesses. What do you say? Mm -hmm. um, he said everybody works hard. He said, but uh, the great ones, they work on what they what need to be worked on. You know, that, that's, not, that's so cliche to say, but, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of guys won't do that, you know, so uh, I, I definitely try to try to do that as much as I can, try to always find something new I need to work on each and every period I'm out there. So uh, that really sticks with me each and every day. So so what are your weaknesses, AJ? Um, I just want to be a well-rounded football player. It's just something that can come up, like on, on a stem of a route or something, uh, how different he plays me. Uh, it, it's just something, there's different looks from different DBs. So it, it, it come and go, and... and and when, once you see it again, you you know how to react to it. So, nine things. If you mentioned that he came in number three, some could make an argument that he really deserved to be rookie of the year. But I think it's just nice to be nominated. Mike. I can make that argument. It's just nice to be nominated. He was a dominant player down the stretch for a team that needed him down the stretch to make the playoffs. And you see, there he is, six one, two hundred twenty six pounds of power with moves, with the ability to snatch the football. Another player. There, there's some good depth and some, some guys who can catch the football, but also. Brown. A.J. Brown's another guy who you looked at and you just went, Whoa, is he bigger? Is he stronger? Is that possible? It's exciting to watch someone come back and look like they're just ready to go right out of the gate. He's the clear number one. Now, right now, Corey Davis not working with the wide receivers as he is on the physically unable to perform list. And so AJ is taking the lead in every single drill, has worked a lot with the quarterbacks in this offseason, throwing every chance and things. You can really be aware of your spacing and making sure that you're doing everything that you can to make sure you're not drawing a flag. See ya. Set by Logan Woodside. And now we're going to get A.J. Brown and Malcolm Butler. <laughs> what a move off the line of scrimmage. But Butler recovers. Ooh. Wow. That's a veteran who doesn't pay. Actually, we have to show you A.J. Brown on these Titans <laughs> live look-ins. <laughs> We get Brought $10 you by every time. We just have to show him because we, we love to watch him. And this is the way we were during training. I, I definitely take that away from Tom Brady. One thing that always stood out watching you from afar last year was your power. Titans website still has you at 226. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. That's It's like 225. Okay, 225. Don't want to make you look heavy like you put on yeah. quarantine weight. No, nah, it's 225. Okay, 225. <laughs> How much do you enjoy throwing dudes? Like, guy comes up to make a tackle and you just say, get out of here. Oh, it's the beauty of it. It's the beauty of it. Uh, my mind said, when I get the ball, don't let nobody talk with me. Uh, 
it's a mindset you got to have when you get the ball. I'm not trying to be a receiver to, to catch the ball and just fall down. It's all about that yet, you know, so that's what I try to get when I get the ball. How much of that is an offensive vitality for your entire team? Because that's Derrick Henry, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, a lot of guys, I mean, we just try to, like me, Derrick, Janu, a lot of other guys, man, we, we really harp on that. You know, we don't let the first guy, we don't let the first guy talk of us. You know, it, it, stuff here on the network side. How is your camp going and how good was it to finally put the pads on, man? Uh, definitely, definitely a stress relief just to get back out there with the guys, man. And camp is going good, man. I'm competing every day, you know. Uh, it's a lot of ups, a lot of downs, but it's camp, though. You know how I go. Yeah, I know. And it doesn't feel like it truly is camp, right, until the pads came on. What did it feel like before? Um, it, it, it really felt like a workout, to be honest, before, you know, uh, now we're practicing with the pass on, going at each other, practicing, competing. Uh, definitely feels like camp in between those lines. So, AJ, what do you want to do year two? I, I know you want to get better. I know you want to have more yards than than 1,051. One of our guys on the air said a couple of weeks ago that stadium on Friday, practice there. Mm -hmm. What's that going to be like to, after these last five, six months to actually be in the stadium in your building? Oh, that's going to feel lovely, even though uh, – even though we might not have many people out there watching us or something, it's still going to be lovely. I'm going to have that game game time atmosphere, you know, uh, just being in the stadium. So uh, it's definitely going to be another switch. Uh, we turn on and compete against each other. But um, just another opportunity to get better at the end of the day. That's what it comes down to, you know, just trying to be better than we were yesterday. Good use of the word lovely as well. I never heard lovely mm -hmm. for a practice in the heat in August in a stadium. But I like it. <laughs> A.J. Brown, congratulations on that rookie year. I know that's in the past now, focusing on this year. Good to see you and look forward to seeing you in that opener week number one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. They hoisted the Lombardi. We talk a lot about the Ravens. They have Lamar Jackson. He was the MVP, number one on our top 100. I don't hear a lot of the Titans were so close. They made the AFC championship game. Now, how do they make the Super Bowl? Do you guys take notice of that? Uh, most definitely, but we just try to keep it in the locker room. You know, uh, we're not gonna have everybody on our side, on our side, and that's okay. You know, it, it's it, it's it's a family here, and and, um, and uh, we just try to clean up the details. You know, uh, we came short. That's that's not good enough for us. You know, uh, we are pissed off to be honest, but uh, we got to keep working and, and clean up the little details each and every day. You know, because in that in this in that playoff atmosphere, man, everything is. Everything is key. The small things is key. So, uh, unfortunately, we fell short. You know, hats off to the Chiefs, you know, but, you know, we're definitely, we definitely don't like where we, where we ended it. I, did I hear that correctly? You're still angry about that game? Almost oh, definitely. I, I, I may be speaking for a lot.